Welcome back to Mafia Mysteries, where we take an interesting peek into the lives of notorious mobsters. In today's episode, we'll shine the spotlight on Sammy the Bull Gravano, a feared enforcer who later became a key informant for the government. Join us as we uncover the fascinating story of this infamous figure in the American Mafia. Sammy the Bull Gravano, born Salvatore Gravano on March 12, 1945, in Brooklyn, New York, had a modest upbringing that eventually led him into the world of organized crime. Growing up in the Bensonhurst neighborhood, Gravano came from an Italian-American background and was raised in a predominantly working-class community. During his early years, Gravano displayed a rebellious streak and was involved in street fights and other minor criminal activities. He dropped out of high school in his sophomore year and his involvement in illegal activities gradually escalated. You are probably asking yourself, when did these petty crimes escalate to being a mobster? Well, in the late 1960s, Gravano officially entered the realm of organized crime. He became associated with the Gambino crime family, one of the prominent mafia families in New York City. His loyalty, street smarts, and willingness to resort to violence quickly caught the attention of higher ranking members within the organization. To know a little more about Sammy, we need to know that he was known for his ruthless nature and penchant for violence. Sammy became a feared figure within the Gambino crime family. As a trusted enforcer for the Gambino family, Gravano was responsible for carrying out acts of violence, intimidation, and extortion to protect and expand the family's criminal enterprises. He was known for his quick temper, brutality, and willingness to resort to extreme measures to achieve his goals. Furthermore, Gravano played a significant role in the drug trade, particularly in the lucrative heroin market. He was involved in the distribution and sale of narcotics, ensuring the Gambino family's control and profitability in this illegal industry. If you have any interest in the underground world of mobsters, I am sure that the name John Gotti sounds familiar. Sammy and John Gotti made one of the most notorious acts in the history of the Gambino family. The murder of Paul Castellano. Paul Castellano was the boss of the Gambino crime family at the time. On December 16th, 1985, Sammy and John Gotti orchestrated a hit on Castellano outside a New York City steakhouse. This brazen act served as a power play, removing a rival and paving the way for Gotti's ascension as the new boss. This act really sets the tone on how dedicated and serious Sam was and how much he identified himself with the Gambino family. Unfortunately for John Gotti and other high-ranking mobsters, a shocking turn of events went down. Sammy Gravano made a decision that would forever change the course of his life and the Mafia landscape. Gravano's decision to become an informant stemmed from a combination of factors. He grew disillusioned with the direction of the Gambino crime family under the leadership of John Gotti, feeling that Gotti's flamboyant lifestyle and high-profile actions were attracting unwanted attention from law enforcement. Gravano also faced mounting legal troubles of his own, including being indicted on racketeering charges alongside Gotti. In 1991, faced with the prospect of spending the rest of his life in prison, Gravano made the decision to cooperate with federal authorities. He struck a deal with the government, agreeing to provide testimony and information in an exchange for a reduced sentence and protection for himself and his family. Gravano's cooperation proved to be immensely valuable to law enforcement. He provided detailed insider information about the Gambino family structure, operations, and criminal activities, including involvement in murders, drug trafficking, extortion, and more. His testimony was instrumental in securing convictions against numerous high-ranking mobsters, including John Gotti, who was ultimately sentenced to life in prison based in part on Sammy's testimony. But how did Sammy make sure that he didn't get killed afterwards? 
Sammy entered the Witness Protection Program. He and his family were relocated with a new identity and provided with security to ensure their safety. However, Gravano's time in the Witness Protection Program was not without controversy. He faced criticism for his involvement in criminal activities and his subsequent lenient sentence, which some viewed as a betrayal of the Mafia Code of Loyalty. And we all know that the worst thing you can do is betray a mobster's loyalty. His post-witness life wasn't without controversy either. Following his time in witness protection, Sammy Gravano made headlines once again, with the decision to participate in media interviews and write a memoir. He granted interviews to journalists and appeared in television programs, discussing his life in the Mafia and his role as a government informant. These appearances attracted both curiosity and criticism, with some questioning whether Gravano was seeking fame or attempting to profit from his criminal past. Furthermore, Gravano's controversial choices extended beyond the realm of media. In 2002, he was arrested on drug-related charges in Arizona. The arrest shocked many, as it seemed to contradict the notion of his rehabilitation and suggested a potential return to criminal activities. Gravano ultimately pleaded guilty to drug trafficking charges and received a prison sentence. His arrest reignited debates about his true intentions and whether his cooperation with the government had been driven solely by self-interest rather than a genuine desire to leave the criminal world behind. Sammy the Bull Gravano's story is one of contradictions where loyalty and betrayal intertwine. From his rise as a feared enforcer to his dramatic decision to cooperate with the authorities, his life serves as a captivating glimpse into the world of organized crime. Thank you for watching today's episode on Sammy the Bull Gravano. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content on the Mafia. And remember, stay curious, but always on the right side of the law.